guys! Um, Devin Clegg from 9 Day Fiance made two different posts that my friend on Instagram thinks is about me. Um, she did leave an essay of a comment on my channel. But then this Instagram post that she did today um, was also about me. Well, so my friend thinks. But let me just read you, let me just jump straight into it and just read you the comments and then I will tell you my reaction. So the Instagram one says, came across a YouTube video of a woman bashing my children and talking poorly about them. You can hate on me, that's fine, and my parenting, but when it comes to my kids, no, no, no. I'm literally this close to removing my children completely from filming, social media, and deleting anything with my kids because adults seem to think it's okay to bully children. Okay, so then on my video, she says on my video of it, is it my, my video is called 90 Day Fiance Lazy Deaf and Angie Hoon YouTube Channel Reaction. Okay, that's what's titled. She goes on that and she says, making a video talking horribly about my child is disgusting. You can talk poorly about me, that is fine. But when making horrible comments about my child, that is taking it too far. Of course, there's a lot of grammatical errors, but I'm just gonna read you, you know? And you are obviously ignorant if you believe every little thing you see on reality TV as what? As well, I have never made a, race my co a racist comment. I'll get into that. Um, <laughs> and I never said racism doesn't exist in America. You obviously don't, didn't watch my videos. Please don't come at my daughter who is two years old during filming. As for drawing on the walls, you really believe we would allow that? We were getting ready to paint the walls and her and her grandfather did drawings for fun knowing we were going to be painting the next day. As for my daughter, my daughter's hair, it is well kept, as you can see in my videos. What? <laughs> in our stay-at-home videos, I am not torturing her with a hairbrush. We have no places to go. Taeyang was literally lying in front of me in the living room, which is attached, which is attached there's just no punctuation, so I'm really sorry because I'm kind of like struggling here. Um, he is in my sight at all times. I'm filming on a phone, so I'm not looking in the viewfinder. Drusilla is only four years old and is missing her front teeth because we went and got her teeth fixed. Huh? Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. S seriously, it's a lot of spelling. You can look at my channel and see. I mean, you are looking at my channel. <laughs> okay. Um, what happened to her teeth now? Okay, we went and got her teeth fixed, and I spent a lot of money on Drusilla's dental care. As well, my daughter is potty trained and has been potty trained for a long time. When she was on the show, she was two years old, which is very normal for a child to not be potty trained. You can talk poorly about me, but talking poorly about my children is very low. You seem like a nice, respectful mother but coming at my kids is not okay. So, here's my thing. Um, <laughs> the thing about the children is that I never call their names, like she's calling their names in this comment. I did not speak their names. I did not um, speak about them at all. I had to actually go back and like, I don't really watch my videos after I edit them and I put them up. I don't go back on YouTube and watch them. So when my friend sent me this, sort of alert that like she's out there probably talking about me i had to go back and watch my videos because i i couldn't remember talking i remembered that the whole point of the video was like to talk about her you can't talk about a child if a child is that way it's because of the parents fault so when i look back at my video it was kind of really just about devin as a mother and um the, I, I, it was the obvious things that that I thought like mother should take care of that she wasn't doing and she was actually putting herself out there with that filming that um my mom asked me not to curse um, because in 
in the videos I did on Devon, I did curse. <laughs> I dropped some F-bombs, so whatever. So my mom asked me, but it's really hard for me not to, because I don't know how to describe like things like Devon without cursing sometimes. Um, I, I don't know if she watched my whole video because it was quite long. I was quite disappointed how long it was because I was reacting to her video, which was quite long. So it ended up being like 30 minutes and I was, just wondering did she watch my whole video because if she did she would have found as a narcissist she probably would have but also as a narcissist she would have found that there were some things that complimented you know and there was actually no criticism criticism of the children themselves how could I criticize a baby and a, and a four-year-old I cannot the, the reason why the four-year-old hair looks like that is because somebody didn't brush it it's not the four-year-old is not um, a good makeup artist or you know hairstylist or whatever anyhow um, very important point I did not react to the actual show so when I spoke about the things I know you can get a really bad edit and I know that some of these reality shows are scripted I was asked to be on a reality show I was and I was very excited because I want to be on TV but um, at the same time, I couldn't do it because I realized that they, they wanted me to do something that was like not my natural life and I wouldn't be able to answer for that in the future. So like, and also I'd probably not get any filming, I thought, because I thought like, I'm not going to be able to like create what they want me to create. So I probably wouldn't get very much um, airtime anyway. But yeah, reality shows are cool. but. You go into it knowing that you might get a bad edit, you know. So scripted. Like I said, when I was asked to do a reality show, I was told that okay, that some might be scripted, and you don't have to do exactly what they say, but you kind of follow. You understand? So I know how that is. Hey. Um. So in in, in terms of the racism thing, she it was all over the internet. I I don't know if she is the only person in the whole entire world that has been misquoted but people quoted her from her twitter from her they have footage of her this there were a lot of things from other people i follow that talked about her racist comment which was that there's no racism in america and in fact she got so much heat about it that she retorted with another quote that people quoted which was that where she lives she does not find there's any racism and she's never seen it because of where she lives or where she comes from in america so for her to say that like she doesn't know about racism in America, any part of America, any corner of town, any any backwoods place, that's not. First of all, it's not true. Second of all, she doesn't know it's not true because like for me, I would not go on and say, well, Asians during this COVID nineteen virus should not feel strange. Nobody's looking at them strange. Nobody's treating them badly. You know, Asian people should not be upset. I wouldn't say that because I'm not Asian. And she should also not say anything about racism because she's a white American. So her self-awareness doesn't exist. She's talking about, she's lying to herself saying that people have bullied her children or I have bullied her children. Like I haven't and I actually have said that and stated that as a disclaimer. I just think it's funny that um, I, I can't relate to her and like, a lot of people can't relate to her. Listen, I'm not the first person. There are lots of people that couldn't relate to her from the footage on the on the show, on the actual television show. And her she made excuses about that too. She you know, which are not relatable either. She said that some distant family member had passed away and that's why she appeared the way she appeared on the show. Like what? Like it's better you say you have a bad edit. Like I had a bad edit. Like whatever. But to say that just because somebody passed away, and you can't say it's your mother, your brother, your father, you know, it's some distant family relative, I can't remember, but it was distant enough that you could be like, what? Um, passed away, and so I was behaving that way on the show. What? You What way? Because people are actually criticizing like detailed things on the show. And um, so she always has excuses that nobody can relate to. They're very stupid excuses. Like, all her excuses are stupid. They're not well thought out, I don't think. Um, otherwise, people would understand and not keep roasting her. So, it's funny that she's trying to, like, 
I mean, I'm a small, tiny person, and I like that I have a channel, and I like that I can, um, you know, edit videos and play with creativity and stuff like that. But like, I'm really not that important, like that she should have to like comment like that long essay that she wrote onto my channel because she put herself on TV, you know? She had a choice. And she even boasted about like how quickly the deal was made. I was actually quite confused because having been having kind of gone through that process before with um, a reality show, it doesn't it's not that quick, but she said in four days they were in her house. Like from her email she sent to them, in four days they were in her house filming her. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. But reality shows gener generally like train wrecks. So um, the show that had asked me to be on was nothing like this one, but it still wanted that element of train wreck. Um, but yeah, the process is not that quick. There's a there's a whole going to contract, you have to go to contract with them, you have to sign, you have to negotiate. Like there's a lot going on there before you get that point. And, and also you have to discuss like exactly, like in the contract, like exactly what you want to do so for her to just be filming in four in, in four days just in her house like that to me sounds like she didn't actually um review the contract <laughs> basically or like ask for anything special in that contract <laughs> and that just shows you how she don't care about i keep saying she doesn't care about anything so anyway that's my that's my whole spiel on that I think she just completely watched my video, but then like pretended it was a totally different video. And because it's half an hour long, probably people are not going to watch it. So they might just see her comment and then say, oh, you know, this is a hate video. But if you really watch the video, which is actually reacting to her footage and her YouTube video, you would see that I'm just reacting to like exactly what's going on. And that's what happened in the show too. I mean, it's not like people were picking at things like that were taken out of context. People in the interwebs were really reacting to like what they were physically seeing. Like her mother-in-law eating raw bacon. Like how are you going to put that out of context? Like the woman, like you made this woman eat raw bacon. Like how can you, like what are you going to say? The production made me give her that? No, you can't say that because you can say I'm not doing that. I don't cook like that. What are you talking about? That's crazy. She might get poisoned, you know? So people are really reacting to what they see and there are some things you can take out of context like, for example, Darcy's crying all the time. Like I can totally see how people take that out of context because they might just shoot, you know, shoot, shoot, crying, shoot, quick, everyone come, crying, shoot. I can understand that and you don't really hear what she's crying about. She's like, blah, 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 like you know, blubbering, whatever. And that can be taken, but when it comes to Devin, like, or Devin, or whatever you ask her name is, sorry mom, <laughs> um, you can't really argue too much. Not so anyway, that's what I have to say about her. Honestly, um, I enjoy editing. I'm supposed to actually be editing my husband's surfing video. He did amazing surfing today, and I filmed it, and I got some really good shots and good footage, and I'm really excited to edit it. Um, with music and you know I have like two different camera angles and it's really gonna be cool and that's what I'm actually supposed to be doing but because my friend sent me this <laughs> I had to film this now and then I'll probably have to edit this before because I'm just like ah! <laughs> love you guys bye